What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about how to tell the difference between a male and a female turtle. Some of you might wonder why I haven't made a video like this. And to be completely honest, it's just because I only had male turtles for the longest time until the beginning of this year where I got six common musk turtles. And so now I have both male and female turtles and I'm gonna demonstrate some of the differences between the two. Now, the reason we're able to tell the difference between male and female turtles and able to sex them is because they exhibit sexual dimorphism. This means that there are physical characteristics that distinguish male turtles from female turtles. But the caveat with this for those of you who have hatchling turtles, I'm just gonna let you know right away. You can't really tell the sex of your turtle because these characteristics don't really exhibit themselves until they've been able to grow and develop a little bit. So here you can see two common musk turtles kind of being fidgety. I won't be holding them very long. This here in my right hand is Toph and this here in my left hand is Chirrut. Also, small side note, uh, if you think that these turtles' eyes look weird, it's probably because they do. Their names are Chirrut and Toph because they're actually blind. Um, more on that if you want to click the video up there. So the first super surefire way to tell the sex of your turtle is if we turn them around and they're being kind of fidgety, calm down. You are gonna be just fine. Okay, Toph, Toph, I get it, Toph, I know. You wanna earthbend your way out of here, but that's not how this works. <laughs> okay. So if you look here, this is the rear end of my two turtles. And you can see on my left hand, this turtle has a significantly larger tail than the turtle in my right hand. This is one of the easiest ways to tell the sexes of your turtle. Males will have a bigger tail, like this one right here. Females will have a much, much, much smaller tail. Like, I don't know if you can even see the tail on little Toph here because she's so small. Also, if you take a look at that tail and maybe you only have one turtle, so you can't really compare sizes, you can actually look at the placement of the cloaca on your turtle's tail. If it's lower down, that's a male. If it's higher up, it's a female. I'll put a little picture up here so you can kind of see. So that is one super surefire way to tell the difference between a male and a female. Another way to tell the difference, and you may have noticed this already, is the actual size of the turtle. So you can see here side by side my male turtle and my female turtle. And Chirrut here is significantly smaller than little Toph, or should I say big Toph, because they're bigger. So females, of most turtle species tend to be a lot larger than the males. This is because like the females have to be able to have eggs and all these things. So females of most species are typically bigger than males. That's another really good way to tell. Now I know this can be difficult if you don't have like multiple turtles to compare, but even if you just look up the average size of your species, if your turtle is already fully an adult and tends to one end of the spectrum or the other, that likely means they are either a male if they're smaller or a female if they're bigger. Another indicator of sex for certain turtle species, specifically sliders and cooters, is nail length. So male turtles of those species will have super duper long nails and often they like flutter them like this. It's kind of like a mating dance. If your slider has really long nails, looks like you could use manicure, then it's probably a male. Now, just a small little footnote here or a side note, people always ask, should I cut my turtle's nails because they're this long? No, that's really not necessary. And it's just something that that species has developed and it's an indicator of sex. So you don't have to cut your turtle's nails. I've really never heard of anyone doing that, but I've seen people ask the question before. So my two cents would be, there's really no reason to cut your turtle's nails if they're long. That's just naturally how they are. And then one last thing that is a little bit more nuanced is if your turtle's plastron, like their belly, is convex or concave. Concave meaning it kind of bends inward, think like a cave. Convex meaning it's bending, well, I guess you could say bending outward or it would be flat. So you might be able to see here with little Chirrut that his plastron kind of bends inward. You can see that the shell kind of curves inward there on the belly. You might be able to tell. Whereas with Toph, you can see that there's less of that bend. She doesn't have as much of a bend in her plastron, which is her lower shell. And so those are some indicators of the sex of your turtle, how you can tell whether they're a boy or a girl. Once you know what to look for, such as tail size, the actual size of the turtle itself, nails, it's really easy to actually determine whether a turtle is a male or a female once they've matured and have reached a certain age. 
In fact, even if you just go to a pest store, you can practice this and just look at a tank where they have the turtles and say, male, female, male, female. It can get really easy to tell. So that's basically how you do it. Really not all that complicated. If this video helped you, hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day. Bye!